guys, this is Jonica, your independent pamper chef consultant, and I'm getting ready. I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, so I'm going to make banana walnut bars. Uh, this recipe is in the fall, winter, 2022 season's best cookbook. So also, um, some of you have seen my honey sriracha but, um, video that is also in here. As I'm going to cook these bars in my large white stone. I really love this. I love the handles on it, and it's just gorgeous. Amber Chef has three different varieties of stoneware. Our stoneware is made of clay. It's all made in the US, so which is really nice. We have the unglazed, the partially glazed, and the fully glazed, and I have some of each. Um, this is the partially glazed, and it's dishwasher safe. All of the stoneware can take heat up to 450 degrees, and um, they're great. You can even put them in the microwave as long as uh, the edges aren't touching the sides of the microwave. You can also put um, in your freezer. I would not recommend putting them from freezer directly to oven. Um, it's too drastic of a temperature. The new stoneware, even the non-glazed, is dishwasher safe. And you can tell by the pattern. The PC with this pattern. So I'm going to show you. So this is the partially glazed. I also have the partially glazed rectangular baker. My oven is pretty good. Right here. This is great for like a lasagna. You know what I um you could do a lasagna. And it's also has this lid. Um which is, doubles as a tray or a lid. So you could serve rolls right on here. So you can put rolls right on here and cook them for the last 15, 20 minutes of your lasagna in the oven and serve them right on the same tray. You could also use this to cook them. So you can use these together or by themselves. And this is the pie plate. Isn't that nice? This came out in um, October, actually. So now I showed you the partially glazed. I have one piece actually one set from the fully glazed. This is the fully glazed. Isn't it gorgeous? And I find my kids and I, we use these bowls. We pull these bowls first before we pull any of the other bowls. They just, they feel nice. They're nice and they're just solid. And I really like them a lot. You can also get a platter set made out of the fully glazed. There's some deep covered bakers. Um, there's even the, the stoneware chip and dip set comes in this fully glazed material. It's really nice. So you can put your dip in the middle and taco, whatever you want to put around the outside. This is the one set I have for the fully glazed and I would actually love to collect more of it. I actually wouldn't even mind having another set of these bowls. Now everything else I have is just unglazed. And the new unglazed that has come out since September 2022 is dishwasher safe. I have the large bar pan. So this is great for sheet dinners or if you're doing a dessert, um, you know, something that's just a, um, like a cake that's not very tall. Bars, bars, there we go. So this is called the bar pan. So this is a large bar pan. So I have a large bar pan. I have the medium bar pan. So for something a little smaller, just a couple servings. So these are fairly new and not fully seasoned yet. They recommend if once they're fully seasoned, you don't have to use most of the time, you won't need to use oil. And the way to season them is just to cook them with something that's oily, like uh, cookies or refrigerated dough. So something that has some fat in it. I also have the stone loaf pan, and I really like this a lot. I use it all the time. These other two, you can see these are more seasoned. So these are fairly new, but this one is the more seasoned. This is the personal pizza pan, and look how it has the lip. So if you're using a pizza peeler, and um, your pizza won't slide off the other side, but I use this in my air fryer a lot. And this is also the small bar pan. I use this one in my air fryer also. I just, I think I like how they cook better than I do the racks. And the air fryer, now I don't have the Pampa Chef air fryer yet, only because there are other things that I wanted more than I wanted the air fryer. I have an air fryer. These last two 
part of the older line of stoneware, the unglazed, and you can tell. So if it's like this, it cannot go in the dishwasher. This is the this is the rectangle stone. So perfect for doing like a loaf of bread um, or cookies. Uh, this one is the older version, but it comes in the newer version. And this is old. This is my pizza pan, very well seasoned. This again is um, not the newer one that can go in the dishwasher, but I still love it and use it all the time. So I have so many pieces of stoneware, it's insane. I have stoneware for everything. I just wanted to show you the many, many pieces of stoneware that Pamper Chef has. Pamper Chef actually started out selling stoneware back in the 80s. So Doris Christopher, that was the first product she sold was the stoneware. So um, it's, it's a favorite. And I also want to let you know that um, in February, the host special for a qualifying party, that means a party of $200 or more sales, is you get to choose any two pieces or sets of stoneware for 60% off. So that is an incredible deal. So if you want to add to your stoneware collection, message me, contact me, and um, we'll set up a party. I do have some openings for February, so that would be really amazing. I would love to work with you and get you some awesome some stoneware, among other things. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out what I need to make the banana walnut bars, except I'm going to omit the walnuts. I love walnuts, but my kids do not like walnuts in things. They like to eat them whole, but they don't like pieces of walnuts in baked goods. So that I won't have to eat it all by myself, I'm gonna leave the walnuts out. So I'm gonna grease this large white stone. And the one thing you do not wanna use is an aerosol spray on these stones, because then you'll have a sticky buildup that will not come off. So that is the one thing, one no-no, do not use aerosol uh, cooking spray. I have some uh, coconut oil. It's actually what I'm using. Okay, so now I need a half a cup of butter and I need to melt it. And I'm gonna use my silicone prep bowls, one of them. These come in a set of three. If you do a lot of cooking, I, especially baking, I highly recommend getting the silicone prep bowls. They come in a set of three. Um, this, the larger one holds three cups. Uh, the middle one holds two cups and the little one holds one cup. And so you can use them in the microwave. They're, it's perfect. I'm going to use this to melt the half a cup of butter. It's not going to splatter too much. And they each come with lids and they each come with um, some measurements right on the inside. So um, you can, they're really easy to fill. What I love about them is one, they're silicone. So sauces, sticky foods, like caramel sauce, things don't stick. And also because of their shape. So if you need to pour into smaller places, like mini muffin pans or something, or the brownie bite pan, um, you can easily squeeze and pour. They're so easy. I actually, I really like these a lot. When I ordered them, I wasn't sure how I would like them. And I absolutely love the silicone prep bowl. Yeah, if you do a lot of cooking, especially baking, I really recommend you get these. I'm just going to go ahead and stick the half a cup of butter right in here. I'll just put the cover on loosely and I'm just going to melt it right in here. Okay, so I've got my large mixing bowl and I love the plastic mixing bowls. You can get them as a three piece set or individually. Um, they work great. My butter melted beautifully right here in my silicone prep bowl. And they're freezer safe too, so you can put foods in the freezer. And then I have one and a half cups of brown sugar. I'm just I'm gonna whisk this together. Oh, I love brown sugar. So this is gonna be really good. No white sugar, just all brown sugar. Oh wow. So now just two eggs. and one teaspoon of vanilla. And that's all whisked together. And by the way, I love the Pamper Chef stainless steel whisk. It's nice and sturdy, nice sturdy handle. It's 
not cheap and flimsy at all. So now we're gonna add flour, salt, and banana. So here's the banana. And I need just one and a half cups of flour. Literally, same amount of flour as sugar. That's, these are gonna be sweet, I think. There's my one cup. There's my half cup. And mix this in. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to mash my banana. But it's pretty soft and it's um, stirring and it's pretty good. So I think it will be good. We have the saying, pampered, not perfect. Definitely. And then 3.5 ounces of chopped chocolate. I'm just gonna use chocolate chips. So let's just do the quarter of a cup. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in. This is gonna go in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. And I will show you how it comes out when it's done. Voila, look at this. It is, smells so good. And you know what? I'm just gonna use my pizza cutter because this is on, cooked on the stone. So how easy is that? I'm just gonna actually, I could do it in squares. But how fun to do it in little tiny pizza-like slices. Let's check it out and see how it tastes. Let me just grab a small one. It probably would have been easier to handle if I cut them in squares. Because they are cut in squares in the picture. Mm, this is really good. So there you have it. Banana walnut, well, these are just banana bars. Banana walnut bar recipe cooked on a large white stone. And this will satisfy my sweet tooth. So that's a good thing. And if you would like to add to your stoneware collection, or maybe you haven't tried the Pimp Chef stoneware yet, um, you can go to my site, www.pimpchef.com forward slash PWS forward slash Jonica's Kitchen. You can order some or you can host a party. If you have never purchased the stoneware and you would like to try it, I highly recommend the stoneware starter set. It's normally $135 and it's 112 right now. And you'll get the large pizza stone, the large bar stone, and the stone loaf pan. So um, you get all those pieces. It's a really great deal. Um, I, I absolutely love cooking on the stoneware. My favorite thing, um, aside from the enamel of cast iron. That's probably my most favorite. Stoneware is my second favorite thing to cook on. So um, there you have it. So if you enjoyed my video, please hit like, subscribe so you, you, you get notifications, and even share with others that love to cook and that love Pamper Chef. Uh, share my videos, that would be great. Thank you.